You don't know how to say no. Uh oh. Let me move on to something else. But God said, what I'm trying to do is settle you. Tell your neighbor, say, hey, neighbor, I know you're only human. But let me say this, when you're going to get that human side under subjection to the power of God? Because, see, God don't want to set part of you free. He want to set all of you free. You came to get your hands washed this morning. He said, because if I can get your hands washed, I'll cleanse your heart. Tell your neighbor, God's bringing you into a new place. If you get your hands clean, the resources will come. We're going to get your hands clean. You know what? I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to mess this up. Tell that Negro that you've been laying up with, you ain't getting no more until you marry. I knew I was going to mess it up, but I needed to say that for somebody. Uh-oh. Some of you in here and some of you married, but you get ready to discover your worth. And God told me to tell you, even for those of you that's married, God's getting ready to make your companions understand really who you are in this season. I don't know, I don't know who the Holy Ghost is talking to. See, some of you up in here, glory to God, see, 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 you've been in a bad place, but God said, I'm getting ready to shift you out of that bad place, and I'm getting ready to shift you into a new place. Huh? But I need to know that you belong to me completely. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Some of you have made people, places, and things out of gods. People, places, and things. You made gods. Other stuff get more attention than God. of people that will turn their plate over and say, Lord, sanctify me. Cleanse me. Get some stuff out of me that I didn't know was in me. Am I boring you? Look at your name and say, this is a new day for me. When I understand that I deserve death, but he gave me life. You can't set up on the road with me and be cute when I know I deserve death. But in spite of death, he gave me life. What others died in, I survived through. Y'all ain't said nothing. And I need to find somebody here that know that you're a true born survivor. Get this on camera. God's been good to the state of South Carolina, but there's something coming to Charleston. And let me tell you something. Those of you that's in this room, you're not above the judgment of God. But grace and mercy made it so it didn't land where you was. That's why if there's ever a time to get serious, the time is right now. Tell your neighbor, don't play with me in this season. Don't play with me. God is setting order. I was thinking just the other day uh, concerning uh, one of our close friends that died, him 
and his mother died in a tragic accident. He was God's anointed. I know better than he is or was. But for some reason or another, God kept me here. None of us know how long our time is. Whatever you're going to do, do it now. grace on you. Just think about that. And, and for 25 praises, some of you, the enemy, searched you out, but God hid you. No, 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 no. Y'all didn't respond good enough for, on that for me. Some of you, the enemy searched you out, but God hid you, and the enemy could not find you. Some of you have been in accidents and the blanket of the Lord just covered on top of you and said, they not going out like this. I remember when I was in an accident, glory to God, hallelujah, my car, my car turned up on top of the hill and all of a sudden I didn't even put it in, in, in park and it was sitting on top of the hill. I didn't even put it in park. I got out of it and it slid in the valley. Came out without a scratch. That's the type of grace that's on you. Let me tell you why. For 25 folk, because you are prophetic people and you have not yet fulfilled your prophetic destiny. I need 35 folk to go to praising God for the death you deserve that you did not get. Some of you literally in the hand of God back death up off of you. Back death up off your children. Back death up off of your family. Listen, and I heard the Lord say, and I got to move because we're going home today. Listen, I heard the Lord say this, uh, Minister Dot. I heard him say, everything that happened to you that was not fair, God said, over the next two and a half years, I'm going to make it fair. <laughs> who, who is the Holy Ghost talking to? I heard him say, everything that happened to you that was not fair over the next two and a half years, I'm going to make it fair. I'm going to prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. He said, I'm going to prepare a table in the presence of the individual that walked away from you. I'm going to prepare a table in the presence of some folk that counted you out. Oh, who is the Holy Ghost talking to? If I was going to preach this morning, I was, I was going to preach about from a message, and I'm going to revisit it, but I ain't going to deal with too much of that. But, 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 but let me tell you what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about a 